all the anti-nutrients that were in plant-based foods and mm. that would be beneficial to remove everything and just do the carnivore diet and i didn't know if i'd do it forever so i mm. went with carnivore in. this episode is brought to you by basic keto box basic keto box is a premium subscription box for keto dieters it offers a wide variety of keto-friendly snacks delivered right to your door. Not only that, with your subscription box, you also get a 30-day meal plan that includes breakfast, lunch, and dinner, complete with macronutrients in every meal. We have an exclusive deal just for Ketones and Coffee podcast listeners. Receive an extra 20% off with your first month subscription. Head on over to basicketobox.ca to subscribe today. Hey guys, welcome to the Ketones and Coffee podcast, where I bring in guests to discuss their own personal experience with a ketogenic diet. Our next guest has been on the carnivore lifestyle for two years and a total of three years on keto. Since then, she has lost over 110 pounds. Her love for cooking has led her to start her own page online and has since garnered almost 30,000 followers across Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. She is somebody that I've looked up to in the keto community for a while now and has also become a dear friend of mine. Please welcome Crystal to the show. Hey, how's it going? Hi. For you. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. So thank you so much. I'm so excited to have you on personally because you've been a friend of yeah. mine for, for a few months now <laughs> since I started the, the subscription. Yeah. And, um, you know, I always look up to you. And your your energy oh, okay. every day whenever you post the, uh, I'm not sure how you consistently do it. I'm so, I'm so I want to learn from you. I uh, I want to pick your brain today. So uh, thank you for coming on. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'd like to start with you know uh, how you got started because I think it's crucial for everyone else when they're starting a new diet, especially keto. And uh, especially carnivore, and we'll get a chance to talk about that later on. But um, I want to I want to know how you got started and what was the thought process. Uh, I actually was starting more so for my son and not for mm -hmm. myself um, to see if it was with his ADHD, um, and I I really didn't know what I was doing when I was starting. I actually mm -hmm. just. Um, inspired by that movie magic pill mm. a good friend had mentioned keto to help with my um son's adhd and after watching it to switch everything and change everything over i didn't really know what i was doing as far as macros and staying under 20 net carbs <laughs> and um yeah. i just i just knew what was um groceries and and meals and stuff like that i didn't mm. really didn't really understand fully until i started into it I wasn't, I wasn't tracking, but, um, was still losing weight. So mm -hmm. what was the, so when you got started, um, uh, you put your son in keto and then as soon as you try to, mm. yes. <laughs> how, how, how long have you been in keto now? So this spring will be three years mm. and, um, uh, shortly after that will be two years of carnivore. So two years of carnivore. Yeah. Yeah. So what was the reason for the switch from keto to carnivore? I just, um, there was so much at the time when I was deciding to switch over to carnivore, there was so much information I was reading from like uh, Sally Norton about oxalates. And then mm -hmm. there was a yeah. lot in the keto community, even about, you know, mm. lemons and pectins and all the anti-nutrients that were in plant-based foods. And mm. I wasn't trying to fix it at that point thought it would be beneficial to remove everything and just do the carnivore diet and I didn't know um if I'd do it forever mm. and I was actually starting my Instagram account at the, the same time so I mm. went with carnivore ish because mm. I liked pickles and onions and you yeah. know the odd, mm. I didn't want right, to commit right. to just being yeah. totally animal based yeah 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 it well a carnivore <laughs> I I wanted to try it but <laughs> It, it sounds so super delicious, by the way, but yeah. I, I'm not sure if I could, I, I still have, you know, the keto breads and, 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 um, oh, right. you know, the wraps and I want to educate myself more about 
healthy carnivore diet. It's a lot easier yeah. for me to to switch to keto for now. I've been on keto for yeah. about almost a year, under a year, just under a year. Okay. And yeah, the carnivore diet always been has always been something that I want to do, but I haven't started. I don't know where to start, <laughs> to be honest. And <laughs> what does it entail? I think there's different mm-hmm. variations of carnivore. Mm-hmm. Um, some are really strict or some are more follow the lion diet where they're only doing meat and salt mm-hmm. or beef and salt. Mm-hmm. Um, there's bi- different variations. Some uh, won't do um, eggs or dairy and um, or use spices. And mm-hmm. I, I use spice. I'm trying to work out a few just to, just to see. Um, yeah. I had a slight reaction to something. Yeah. So yeah, there are variations, um, but it's primarily animals. So eggs, yeah. fish, dairy. Yeah. Your your Instagram account, your your feed is it gets me all the time. <laughs> I that's the one of the main reasons why I wanna try the keto diet, uh the carnivore <laughs> diet, because it's it yeah. looks everything looks so amazing. Um I love my steaks, I love my, you know, my pork. Yeah. And pork rinds. Who yeah. doesn't want pork rinds, guys? <laughs> you know, Buster Rhinos. I'm, I'm a ketchup guy. So I, oh, whenever I go to, uh, to a keto store, there's one here near where I live. It's called Keto Librium. I always go there okay. to get my Buster Rhinos fix for my ketchup because I love uh, chips. Okay. And yeah. I really miss yeah. those, but now I don't miss them at all because of uh, Buster yeah. Rhinos ketchup pork rinds. Oh, so okay. uh, just, I, I have not had them. So. No, oh, <laughs> no, please definitely have. But them. I was a salt, yeah, I was a salt no. and vinegar chip lover, oh, so um, mm. I actually haven't found a pork rind salt and vinegar flavor. Oh, they do have I one. Like. They do have so, one. Buster Rhinos. Do they? Have one. Yeah. 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 And and Buster they, I think Rhinos. they have. Um, if you go, if you go online, uh, on their website, they, uh, they, they have those for. Um, they sell it by the by the by the box uh 12 per box oh so definitely check them oh. out they they have uh assortments yeah. as well <laughs> so you could you know uh try every flavor they have oh they're the best they're the best they they also have nice. we're not paid by buster rhinos by the way i just love their products <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah a little off track <laughs> there um but i, I want to <laughs> ask you what what was the biggest challenge yeah. for you uh you no know, your switch let's say from keto to to carnivore what was the challenge the biggest the biggest challenge i actually uh was more i guess family and friends um Mm. just concerned i was not you know um eating plants when i originally Mm. started um i just had to say it was temporary and Mm. maybe i personally thought it would be temporary um Mm. and helped ease some of the pressure from them Mm -hmm. um but now it's been so long, yeah. no one, no one cares, and they mm. don't. They see that I don't have scurvy, that I'm yeah. healthy, yeah. and you know, um, thriving. Um, adjust to from adjust to the menu and stuff. It wasn't mm. it wasn't mm-hmm. such a big yes. change because I've been following keto for so yeah, it's so a long delicious at that change. Point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and when I had started keto, uh, where I am in Canada, there wasn't mm-hmm. a lot of you know uh, processed food or packaged food mm. like there is now. So I pretty much wasn't. I had no mm. keto yeah. processed food that first year. Mm. Um, I like pretty much ate a ton of lettuce wrap burgers mm. and uh, lettuce wrap tacos mm. and the occasional like uh, yeah keto pizza but it was more so burgers and tacos um my kids do not like tacos anymore Mm -hmm. so you know (laughs) yeah so huge variety but i'm good with it oh yeah Yeah. no for sure i i love that you mentioned you know people around you i that's a given for anyone i think um since keto in general has that that narrative around it that it's uh, you know 
we've known all of our lives that fat is bad for you. That's what I've known. Yeah. So switching to keto uh, had me in awe because I found out about keto a year before I actually got on keto because of that. I, I was intrigued finding out people that are getting these benefits, you know, transformational photos. So some people are using it for a diagnosis, for a chronic illness. Um, it got me intrigued. Um, and I, yeah. I wanted to, you know, experience it for myself and that's what I did. So, ha- and it was hard for me because, uh, my, my family would think that, oh, um, what are you doing? That's bad for you. You're starving yourself. You're not having carbs because that, yeah. that's how our, our culture, uh, is and still is yeah. uh, to have like a, some sort of grain or rice, uh, in every meal. Right. So that was hard for me. Yeah. Um, that's the, a major thing that stops people from doing it is they don't get a support uh, that they need. I'm very fortunate to have, you yeah. know, my wife, she um, she started with me. And so she was yeah. my accountability person to start. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And and that's now good. it's been yeah. a year. It's been a year. And yeah, um, that's, that's awesome. So and she's well, like it. Um, she misses carbs for sure (laughs) she's uh she's a snacker too so she uses this as a tool to lose weight yeah so she wants to lose weight for summer no but i don't uh i don't force her to you know to join the diet i'd like for her to see the benefits herself because as soon as you get over that hump and once you go, you try to go back to eating carbs, then you feel the difference, yeah. right? And I, I don't have that much, a lot of weight to lose. I did lose 20 pounds. But the the thing that I uh, uh, notice is my focus to be, um, I'm more focused. I'm more able to listen to my wife, okay. to my family, and I'm able yeah. to not be distracted most of the time. So, right. yeah. And right. also, I like how what you said that um, the nutrient density of the carnivore diet. It's interesting because yeah. I was listening to Craig talk um, when we had our episode, episode seven, and the carnivore diet its nutrition density. Yeah. Sometimes the yeah. steak will have more nut- nutrition um, when you compare it to some vegetables. I don't have the facts here. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I, I looked it up. It, it is true. You know? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> I, can you, can you, are you able to speak on that? You may have, we, you may get this question a lot. Where are you getting your nutrients yeah. where you're not eating your vegetables, your, your, uh, your, I, your food? Well, a lot do come from the meat and I mean, mm-hmm. different um animal products have different nutrients with the eggs Mm. and you know there's different nutrients within the eggs and Mm. i do eat liver Mm. so um there's vitamin c in liver right so Mm. um, but yeah it's nutrition when when you look it up the this diet is nutrition packed right and and liver like you said you know is the most Mm -hmm. nutrition dense food that you could have available for you yeah and you know, yeah. we were used to think that you have to have, you know, your greens, your your fruits. How hard is it to prepare a carnivore meal? A- everything looks so hard. good. <laughs> just... you, you're on YouTube, <laughs> you're on Instagram, yeah. you're on TikTok. <laughs> and, and I see you. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard enough to maintain one account, guys. Uh, yes. That's why I, well... <laughs> I look up to you. Your consistency is a little amazing. bit trying. <laughs> Yeah, I think COVID has helped that. Uh, I have mm-hmm. a lot more free time mm-hmm. um, with COVID. Just mm-hmm. we, even my salon is still closed down. I'm not mm-hmm. able to open until uh, this coming up. So, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, that definitely has helped. My kids mm-hmm. are getting older and that kind of helps too. So I'm kind of, mm-hmm. you know, it just yeah. opens up a little more time, but mm-hmm. it is a little bit trying sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so but i do like it yeah yeah it's amazing um, um if i could if i could do that i would it's it's uh it's uh it's time consuming isn't it uh, it is <laughs> but it's yeah, yeah it's it, a healthy a healthy distraction though versus oh yeah doing i like spreading the word though and showing yeah. i guess i originally started my instagram mm-hmm. um because I think my friends and family were sick of seeing my, my food photos and mm-hmm. kind of, you know, just wanted to share it with mm-hmm. people. So I started a 
keto carnivore ish page. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't bug my friends and family. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> oh, no, yeah. uh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing having to see your reels. Uh, and also, I, it's so easy. It's so easy to grab your, uh, yeah. your recipes now. And I, I've tried your yeah. paffles. It's amazing. I'm, I, I thank you yeah. for it oh. because I love burgers. Yeah. And if, yes. if not for that, I, I may have not more be more consistent with it. Because of paffles, I'm consistent with keto, guys. Yeah. So check it out. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome (laughs) oh no amazing amazing uh so what do you put in your paffles i i just want them to have the uh the idea it's powerful it's just depending (laughs) this uh, original one where i just use a butter eggs Mm. and pork rinds and Mm. then there's one that has instead of the butter you use your mayo um, mm. pork rinds and eggs and a little bit of seasoning and yeah it's comes out soft like one reddish without uh-huh. flour which is toxic <laughs> as far as oxalates and all that go um so yeah it's super bit. easy if i was to start now um I, i'm on keto mm-hmm. so i still have my yeah. almond flour i i bake my own bread and yeah. um how how do i how do i get started if if i'm uh if I don't know anything about uh, the current bird diet. So, yeah. But anything, bacon or beef, chicken, mm. um, fish, it's still in shrimp. Um, but, yeah, anything plant-based would be um, scratched, right? So, um, um, and fruit, too. I know mm. you can still have berries yes. on keto. But that's that's my not on carnivore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no. There's anyway. egg pudding you could do for dessert. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jumping from uh, keto to carnivore, what was the the main benefit that you've uh, seen that you've uh, noticed? I was always feeling really good from keto. Mm-hmm. So, um transitioning to carnivore, I just kind of that next level mm-hmm. and um just sleep was better and my Although my thinking and food was better with keto, it got mm. that much better with carnivore. And um, I was uh, Dr. Berg's version of two. So I mm. was actually taking a lot of vegetables. Mm. So was getting quite bloated. And yes. um, that bloat uncomfortable went away, mm. obviously, because there was no more mm. vegetables or salads. Um, so just uh even better energy i guess more or so than keto yeah yeah that's the that's the one yeah. thing too uh i i have so much energy now i, I used to have um yeah. the first time the first week i'm on keto i actually f- did not integrate myself properly from from <laughs> having 50 grams of carbs on every meal uh to zero right. so my first week was <laughs> I have no energy, just general soreness in my body. I was freaking out. Okay. But uh, that only so... lasted for a, for a week. And then after that, um, uh, I started to notice I, I'm not bloated. I, I did lose uh, water weight in the beginning. Yeah. But it's, it's a lot more sustainable for me uh, because I used to yeah. be a yo-yo dieter too. I, I would yeah. just have a you know, a goal for summer maybe. And then that motivates me. And then after a while, after summer, I would regain back the weight because I starved myself. That's not sustainable for me. I found keto and they said I could have yeah. bacon. I could, <laughs> I could have yeah. cheese. Sign me up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I didn't know uh, the severity of uh, the keto flu. I was um, the, the first week I couldn't move. <laughs> So you got to be... I didn't experience it no? yet. <laughs> really? No, I didn't. Um, my husband did. Mm. My husband did, but I mm. did not. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, I, I found glad. that... <laughs> yeah, I found that a lot of people would have different experiences with it. Um, some people would, yeah. you know, would, wouldn't experience it. Maybe you have a, a, mild, a mild headache, but that's it. But for yeah. others, like yeah. myself, I... I just couldn't move. <laughs> I it's no, I, I don't have yeah. energy. I don't have to have the energy. And um, yeah, I, at that at that time, I'm still right. so confused about that and about fat. Yeah, yeah. 
So how I did actually you... didn't know about, well, I, mean, mm. I didn't know about that either. I mean, I didn't know exactly how much mm. uh, I knew that. I think I saw someone prep a keto meal and it was like a chicken be- breast and veggies uh, drenched in a little bit of olive oil. And I can't remember mm. what the other thing was. So whenever mm. I cooked my vegetables, I kind of mm. drenched them in olive oil and mm. ate meats and maybe added cheese or bacon. Yeah. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing. Mm. Um, I didn't ex- the keto flu though i just mm. um i guess uh and uh before keto i've never had a sweet tooth issue i've always mm. been more savory i think just cutting yeah. out the bread helped with keto more than anything because i i was not a big cookie person or dessert mm. person i like chips yeah um but i was not a big traditional sugar addict i liked bread and yeah. chips and stuff but yeah. not you know so and were, were you were you craving them yeah. in the first few weeks when the first few weeks i'm like yeah. this has carbs really carrots has carbs yeah uh, bananas <laughs> have have carbs what can i have yeah yeah and then, uh, and then i could have bacon okay i'll, I'll have 10 strips yeah. of bacon <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i cannot explain how much better i feel now from um from uh, before because i would i would go back and forth uh the first few weeks i would go back to having you know carbs and then i would be so uh, i would be so out of it um i don't know i don't want to go anywhere i just want to stay home but right. when you switch back to keto um yeah just, i'm not exaggerating by any means i <laughs> my my focus my energy and the clarity is what i'm after yeah the the losing yeah. weight is great the the fitting in my yeah. in my uh, jeans is great but the yeah. cognitive function the cognitive uh, abilities okay. has definitely improved for me and that's what i'm after the feeling yeah. the feeling great is what i'm yeah. after and uh, that's why i love and this that's path. probably with and fasting I, too because you said mm. you do omad yes yeah. yes so so that helps with that too so yeah yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's it's to me. I love your path. I love that you're you're on yeah. a lot of platforms, because uh, they may they may think, oh, uh, this is easy. Uh, I could I could eat yeah. this for personally. I could eat burgers every day. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I I'll have powerfuls. Uh, do you guys have a burger priest over at the uh, Alberta? No burger no? priest. No, I don't they, think they, so. No. Yeah, it's a burger joint that. Um, they have unbun uh, breads. Oh, uh, unbun, okay. Yeah, oh. yes, and um, oh, that's good. I, I go there to for my keto burger. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> yeah, no, we yeah. don't have that here. No, I think Mister Sub has unbun products. I really? Think. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I I'm don't a fan now. Go. <laughs> okay, Subway. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Um, no. I actually prefer Subway <laughs> before this information. Yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> Mr. Subway, I'm going to look you up for sure. Um, I'm sorry. Mr. But, Sub, uh, yeah. That's Mr. what I've heard, Sub. but don't quote me. <laughs> I won't. I won't. Yeah. I'll, I'll do my own research. Um, <laughs> yeah. So do you guys have, uh, in Alberta, do you guys have a lot of keto stores over there? Uh, there's not a ton. There's mm. more. There is a store that I know of. And then there's a couple ones that I've, uh, that, mm. that I've to, but I've only been to the one. Baker's. Um, and it's more more like a specialty store mm. like where they have other unique products not just go focus they're maybe fitness mm. um keto and a bunch of other things yeah. mixed into one yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm worried because we my wife and i um we're planning to move to saskatoon <laughs> and they don't oh, they may okay. or may not have any keto stores over there because i always go okay. It to, would, it I, would, always, I, I think there's even less there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. To bring, yeah. Be the <laughs> yeah uh, maybe yeah. I'll have to uh, I'll have to create my own. <laughs> uh, put up a store. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, they, there you go. I, I'm sure there are some people there that are keto, you know. I'm sure. Yeah. I've yeah. noticed that even with our gold grocery stores, like I'm in um, Short Park. And so... Mm-hmm the Sobeys by my house mm-hmm. and um, the superstore just carry things now. I think it's, yeah. I, it's even the people that go there, they uh-huh. ask for it. They'll start carrying it. Right. Can I yeah. add the new pastas at both, at both like mm. Walmart superstore and Sobeys by my house. Whereas when I started keto, you couldn't, mm. 
couldn't find that, right? So, wow. So they wouldn't um, do that if there's no I demand. Think right. There must be a demand then. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I think it's, that's it's, a, good thing. it's, a, it's a big, becoming more popular now. And people yeah. are seeing the benefits. Yeah. I'm not lying when I say I, yeah. I'm, I'm a totally different person not not characteristic yeah. but you know the the feeling i i feel yeah. better i feel great yeah. um i am i'm able to listen and focus i'm able to read yeah <laughs> when i was a kid That's i used the, to have yeah. um yeah a problem with i'm i'm, I'm a distracted kid uh and okay. uh, when, when i read <laughs> when i would read i would fall asleep not lying yeah. to you i could uh finish yeah. books i could you know it's a oh, superpower that's... Yeah. That's why I love this path. Yeah. And um and oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Um what's uh what 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 was your your diet like before uh keto? Before keto. Mm -hmm. Uh I just um it was kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um I was not a sweet person, never mm -hmm. have been, but mm -hmm. I I would almost over I I wouldn't say it was a big mm -hmm. binge eater, but I've always mm -hmm. been a eater. I have yeah. a hefty appetite. Um, so it's always be like seconds or, mm -hmm. you know, like a larger portion of potatoes or French fries or mm -hmm. whatnot. So um, um, that's one thing mm -hmm. I haven't uh, found a replacement for. I've seen it on... Mm -hmm. Instagram a lot with mm -hmm. the uh, keto French fries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, but yeah. is it almond flour? <laughs> is it made of almond flour? It, there's a coconut flour version, and coconut flour oh. is okay for me. Or so I, I think there's I a saw coconut that. flour version. I, I haven't tried it. Though. And actually, uh, I do miss some. I mean, I, that was one of my favorite. I don't miss yeah. it so much now that mm -hmm. I feel the need to make it. it it seems kind of um time consuming to me <laughs> but oh, yeah you know, there's always that that fix right yeah yeah being a carnivore uh being in the carnivore lifestyle what tool helped you to sustain this diet uh, you know consistently be on this diet i think actually instagram helped me a lot mm. and then by joining shortly after i started carnivore mm -hmm. i joined um nutrition with judy's carnivore 75 and I think that helped me stick with it and mm. get through that hard hump because mm. at that point I'd followed it really I cut out everything and wasn't mm. even doing sweeteners mm. like I'd always have a uh, xylitol in my coffee and mm. so I just was really strict and followed mm. it and it got me past that hump of wanting mm. to just go back to mm. keto right and so I have I followed strict carnivore for a year where mm. I wasn't doing pickles or onions or tomatoes. Mm. I wasn't doing pears or keto treats. Mm. And then um, eventually had started to work things back that I never intended removing from my mm. forever. Like I like pickles um, and onions on my burgers and mm. maybe having a lettuce wrap burger every mm. once in a while. Mm. And I like to use ketchup. So mm. yeah. Um, I'm not going to go out and have a big salad or mm -hmm. <laughs> anything like that. Um, but yeah, there were things and, that started to add back. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, th I think I had a slight reaction to mm -hmm. my, um, my chili in the new year and I put mm -hmm. something different in it that I hadn't had this whole, uh, journey. So I'm actually just trying to eliminate a few things and see, uh, what I reacted to, but you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it's just trial and error. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I have plans to go back to the standard American diet yes. and or even uh, Dr. Berg's version of keto. And not that it was bad. I just have no intention or desire to go back to eating big salads and and all that, if that makes sense. This lifestyle is a lifestyle. It's not just a diet. Yes. Yeah. Right. You can't just right. Get right. You know, go back and forth and use this as a you could use this as a, as a as a weight loss tool, and and that's fine. Yeah. But w when yeah. you do uh, find out about the other benefits, you would want to stick to it. And yeah, you know, yeah. How, how, I'd like for people to be more proactive with you know with this. And for some people, right. they may not stick to it longer. If when you think of this as a diet, you you would yeah. You, you would be on the keto diet or the carnivore diet for 
for a bit just to lose weight and then when you do lose it then then you're back to you know eating carbs <laughs> But, I think I think so. Like, cause I I I watched, like I said, that magic after mm-hmm. just an eye opener to what was in our standard American diet, and just had no desire to go back to it. It wasn't even so much about weight loss for me at that point. It was mm-hmm. more about trying to help my son and mm-hmm. just realizing how bad a lot of the foods mm-hmm. were eating yeah. that we weren't meant to or designed to eat either right so yes. with, like even with my husband he started a year after I mm-hmm. had started um on his own free will he was just mm-hmm. one day he's like that's it I'm doing keto <laughs> and what was I it I was surprised I don't know why what he I don't know why he he was uh I think at that point I had at that year of me doing keto I had just lost um 100 pounds mm. and it was a dramatic difference and we had gone to a wedding and there was mm. just a uh, tension there. and I think yeah. I just realized like it's like this That's actually working like and, <laughs> and see what I was eating because I was cooking for the whole family so mm. if I had um, steak and vegetables I was mm. just not eating the rice mm. well he was so he's mm. just he just one day it's like that's it i'm doing keto too like what do i have to eat just, <laughs> oh his transformation is amazing I'm, yeah yeah and i'm surprised that he stuck with it because he is a sugar lover so mm. he is a dessert lover and mm. um he's always he's filipino he's always had rice with mm, almost exactly every meal. That's uh, what it when is. he <laughs> when we had started dating he couldn't go a couple days without rice so for him to stay on <laughs> that's keto. so true though <laughs> yeah right yes so, like <laughs> that's so true um, Christo. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and when he now that he this spring will be two years for him i i'm really just uh surprised that he stuck with it he's not nearly as strict as i am like mm-hmm. uh i never had a low carb keto wrap because of the wheat or gluten whereas he'll still have it and it's Mm -hmm. it's fine it works into his macros but um he's never really cheated like the kids came home with a ton of halloween candy that first halloween he had started and i was surprised he didn't even take his favorite coffee crisp bar and like Mm. have one like he's just i'm surprised and and this is not me forcing him this Mm. is his own free will so Mm. um it's it's awesome so yeah yeah it, there might be something yeah. there <laughs> there might be something there yeah and that's that's amazing <laughs> just having to yeah. uh, realize yeah. one day hey um was it the photos after yeah. the wedding that uh, made him uh <laughs> switch because it could be the turning uh, point having to yeah. see yourself hey um yeah because seeing you every day was... <laughs> he doesn't notice yeah. the difference <laughs> yes yes I think it was the photos. Yeah, he was, uh, I think even in one photo, he wasn't the way he had looked and I had just lost all this weight. He was like, that's it. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So he's ready for the next one, <laughs> right? He can't wait yeah. for the next yeah. wedding. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know yeah. it's actually funny cause we both, we are, we both kind of got all healthy and hot and then COVID happened. So there's no trips and like no weddings mm. and no nothing. Right. So he's like, I want to go yeah, stay ready. show off my abs. And I just, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> man. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. he could be a superstar in the keto community. <laughs> he could, he could start a page uh, and you know, uh, it's incredible <laughs> for, for the, for the guys out there. You know, we, we need uh, yeah. somebody to look up to. Let uh, ask your husband <laughs> to get on. Uh, he'll he'll yeah. probably get he'll get probably get attention. You know, but um, it's amazing. I have to like I have to like pry it just get those photos up. I'm like uh, he's not big on social media, but um, <laughs> I did yeah. put some of his photos up. Yeah, it I is saw a good that. transformation. So. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. If. <laughs> Yeah. he would he would inspire a lot of people um because uh it's just uh an, an amazing uh transformation and um you know yeah. we, we need more guys yeah. in uh yeah the keto community. i know there's not as many mm. and, <laughs> yeah uh, he could lead yeah. the way <laughs> yeah that's amazing that's amazing uh you, you didn't yeah. have to force him he just had to re it that's yeah. the best thing um sometimes when you yeah 
for somebody to do something, um, it's harder for right. to do it. But when they see it for themselves, see the benefits, he saw you um, lose all of this weight and you feel great. And then yeah. the wedding happened, he saw the difference and here it is. Uh, a few <laughs> yeah. years later, he's... Uh, and then you, you had to walk him through it, eh? Uh, so you you, have, yeah. you, you became, became his trainer. <laughs> I was doing most of the cooking, but mm. he... Uh, because he he's always um, weight trained. He's never mm. been big on cardio, but he's mm. always weight trained. Yeah. And so after he started getting into keto, I mean, I did a lot of the meals, so we didn't mm -hmm. have to do a lot of the thinking mm. as far as meal mm. prep. But he did some of his own uh, research and he actually still watches videos like I'll catch him watching a Dr. Berg Bird video or you know and i'm like oh okay he wants so it's, to stay he's updated. actually interested <laughs> in himself right so yeah. so that's good and it, it surprised me and it still does some uh he'll be listening to something on youtube or mm -hmm. i'm like what are you watching it's something keto related so yeah. and it of course him. he's trying to it's more for the uh ketogenic diet and the weightlifting mm -hmm. part of it and mm -hmm. i i i'm so much i'm not in that so much like I, I don't work out to his extent with the weight training right mm. so yeah yeah there's uh yeah, there's so. not a lot of uh trainers out there with keto maybe he could start that he's uh yeah he's uh he's pretty <laughs> built and he he would have a following yeah. oh i guarantee he would have a following <laughs> for sure and um it's amazing to see that uh yeah and that that's that's great that you both are you know, practicing yeah. the same lifestyle because it's hard for some people I, to start it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And uh, I think I've, I, I found that first year when he wasn't doing it, I didn't have a problem staying on. Mm -hmm. um, and there's still, there were still things in my pantry that didn't tempt me. Um, mm -hmm. But I hear that from a lot of people that it's a struggle to do keto while their family eating bread and mm -hmm. pasta. Yes. But I never, I didn't experience that much. I didn't mm -hmm. experience it. And maybe because mm -hmm. I had that alls in oh, yeah. ball to the wall mentality. Yeah. Yeah, I don't you're know. You're not hangry. I just, yeah. I think when you eat yeah, carbs, no. you want more carbs, right? Yeah. When yeah. you when you eat uh yeah. when you when you switch to the keto diet, you're not craving as much. You're not hungry right. as much. You're you don't yeah. have that fluctu fluctuation of, you know, I want sugar. And um, it's just right. better for your lifestyle. Sometimes if you're fasting and if you're busy in the morning, you could skip the, you could skip lunch and it's so convenient. Right. Um, of course, with your own research and supervision and you can't just start it today without, you know, having to read up on what may or may not happen. Because if you do start the right. keto diet uh, yeah. today for somebody that, yeah. you know, has been eating, you know, consuming carbs all of their life, it's going to be hard. Right. Um, you you have to be hydrated. You have to have your electrolytes yeah. beforehand, and um, and yeah. that comes with you know just knowing that you could experience the keto flu. And for me, it was you know yeah, and yeah, I didn't have the keto flu, but I seen my husband go through it, and it wasn't bad for him. But he got that keto rash mm. or what whatnot, and mm. the the headache and stuff like that, and mm. um. um and even at that time, because I guess I didn't experience it, I mm. kind of skipped that part of keto. So I didn't even inform him too much because I didn't know yeah. too much because I didn't experience <laughs> it, right? I think that's where he started to do his own research was at that point. Mm. Oh, because every everybody's different and everybody's journey is different. So mm. he almost, yeah, took it upon himself to yeah, look into good. that, right? And that's then good. snowballed from there. Yeah. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. You you guys, a couple of you guys, you guys are great. Um, <laughs> me and my wife, uh, you know, we're still figuring everything out, but uh, we're going to yeah. keep it. We're, it's going to be a lifestyle for us. And uh, that's awesome. You know, I could talk yeah. to you all day. I could talk to you all day about the keto diet, <laughs> but um, I know. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to let you go. But okay. I'd like for people to find you. Where can people find you? Yeah. I am on Instagram as mm. Keto Carnivores Chris, and then I'm also on YouTube as Keto Carnivores Chris, and then I do have a uh, TikTok <laughs> just for Check all the meals, out. you know. So check yeah. it out, guys. <laughs> They're amazing yeah. recipes, yeah. <laughs> and if you uh, try the, the carnivore diet, 
you know check her account out it's super informative <laughs> and um you know if you're looking for recipes definitely is a place to go so thank yeah. you again crystal i really yeah. appreciate you thank you're you. my friend thank you. and uh, thank yeah. you for taking yeah, uh, no, family day uh, to talk to me i really yeah. appreciate it <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for stuff. having me. Bye Thank bye. You. Okay. Bye. That was the best. Thank you for listening all throughout that episode. If you want to hear more stories like these, follow us. We upload a new episode every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Until next time, guys.